Hello, my name is John Grimes, OSU Extension Beef Coordinator, and today we're going to visit with you on the topic of heat detection of beef cattle. The vast majority of beef cattle in the United States are mated through natural service or bull matings. In fact, the 2007-2008 National Animal Health Monitoring Systems beef study indicated that just under 8% of the beef cattle in the United States are mated through artificial insemination. The diagram shown on this slide does an excellent job of outlining the significant events associated with estrus in cattle. There are a few key points to focus upon in this timeline and they are the standing heat period and the time of ovulation or egg release. Standing heat can last up to 18 hours depending on various conditions such as animal and environmental variations. A key concept also to remember is that ovulation typically occurs at 28 to 30 hours after the onset of standing heat. We also need to understand the concept of semen capacitation. Semen needs to be in the uterus at least six hours prior to ovulation to allow for fertilization of the egg to occur. Once the egg is released, there's typically a period of six to ten hours to allow for egg fertilization. These facts indicate that in artificial insemination we would breed a female in a time frame ranging from early to mid standing heat until shortly after the end of standing heat to achieve optimum conception rates. The primary sign of estrus or heat in cattle is when the female stands when mounted by other animals. Another primary sign is a clear mucus discharge often seen from the vagina of the female. Some of the secondary signs of estrus or heat include a general increase in physical activity of the female, active attempts to mount other females, a swollen vulva, dirt or mud on the flanks, and a roughened hair coat on the tail head. In this scene, we see evidence of two stages of heat or estrus. One female is in the early stages of heat as she is trying to mount the other female. Meanwhile, the other female resists attempts to be mounted and is no longer in standing heat. It is not unusual to see females grouped together when they are in heat. Here we see four females grouped together with one female aggressively mounting another that is in standing heat. Successful heat detection takes time, and it's a good idea to take extra time to observe cows that are in larger groups. This can be an indication that there may be more than one cow in heat at a particular time. Frequent observation of the herd can help you identify aggressive bull calves. These aggressive bull calves can prove to be valuable aids in heat detection. In situations where multiple females are in standing heat, the aggressive bull calves are excellent heat detectors as they will be just as active in mounting females as are other females that are in standing heat. After a period of time, females begin to show signs of no longer being in standing heat. Here we see a female that is starting to go out of standing heat as she is beginning to walk away from the female mounting her. Here we also observe the alternating head to tail stance associated with various stages of standing heat. Females that are no longer in standing heat tend to ward off the advances of other animals wanting to be near them by headbutting or pushing them out of the way. There are commercial heat detection aids available to the producer. One such aid commonly used is the Estratech heat detector patch. The heat detector patches can be applied to the female by peeling them off the paper strip and placing the adhesive side to the mid to front tail head region of the female. When a female is in standing heat, the mounting female applies pressure to the patch and eventually wipes away the initial gray substance off the patch, leaving the colored patch as shown. These patches come in multiple colors. Be careful not to confuse scratches on a patch as an indication of standing heat. This patch indicates scratching from a tree branch, fence wire, or other object. Mounting activity by animals tend to wear the patch in a larger, more uniform area. Another item that can serve as a useful heat detection aid 
is the paint stick marker. The marker is used by applying a liberal coating of the marker across the tail head in a front to rear motion. Animals mounting a female that is in standing heat will rub away the marker from pressure applied by frequent mountings. As stated earlier, the most frequently used heat detection aid in cow-calf production is the herd sire. However, if you are utilizing artificial insemination or hand breeding with a bull, proper heat detection is an important skill to possess to help achieve high conception rates. For more information on this or any other beef related topic, go to the OSU Extension Beef Team website located at beef.osu.edu.